Hi, I'm MP Mark Werwa in beautiful Langley Aldergrove and I'm, uh, I'm with Tamara Jansen and we are at one of the biggest greenhouse companies here in Langley and uh, we've heard from a number of constituents, business uh, and private alike, very concerned about uh, the tax grab on small businesses that the Liberal government has introduced. Uh, now, Tamara, you started how many years ago? Uh, well, 1982 uh, is a picture I have here when we had about 20,000 square feet or so. And we've been in business now, well, the whole time we were married. So 30 years, 30 it, years. It's huge and very popular. Uh, you got a picture there? I of do, of what we're, well, somewhat what we look like now. We are about 25 acres. So you've, you've built this through hard work. Now there's this issue that uh, through sprinkling, um, the government wants to go after sprinkling, so they'll go after families, hardworking families. Right. Now, uh, they believe um, there's no trust fund here. This is hard work and your family. Has your family been involved with this? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> When you farm, everybody's involved. All the kids are there. Um, you know, I, I couldn't be in the greenhouse if I didn't take the kids along with me. Um, they, they grew up from knee-high to a grasshopper eating the dirt on the ground. And uh, they, they helped in everything, whether it was weeding under the tables, picking when it was late at night because we needed extra hands. And yes, they were very, very involved. Some of my kids hated every second of it. And they probably complain. They, they complain quite a bit, but now our son is taking over. Our son is now 30. You've got a picture of your son when you started off there. I do, I do. He was the cutest little thing. There he is. I think he's about two there, helping us out with a cyclamen. And, and so he's now managing the company. Yeah, he runs the company now. My husband and I are retiring. We, we're, we're just helping out wherever he needs our help. Um, but I, I think the thing that's most shocking about these proposals is that if we want to pass the farm on to our son, they're going to be taxed 90%. 90%? 90, I mean, it's just mind-boggling. So making it impossible, really, for family to pass it on to the next generation. Well, well even so, more shocking is that they what they're suggesting is that we actually sell it to a foreign interest for less tax. So they're actually encouraging us to sell it away from the family. And the, the, no government in history has ever treated farmers the way they're treating them now. We... We produce food here, and we want to sell it away. It's the, it's, I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> it's almost making it impossible for small business to exist. Absolutely. Oh, it's crazy. So thank you, Tamara, uh, for telling your story and, um, and continue to provide input on this. Uh, the government has provided a, uh, they don't want to hear anything more about this as of October because uh, they're going to be implementing this by January of this year, of next year even before the budget comes out. So their mind is made up in spite of it calling so-called consultation. It, I think it's not consultation when your mind is already made up. But um, Canadians do appreciate all the work of hardworking Canadians in, in family business, small business, and we wish you great success. And um, we will put pressure on the government to stop this crazy plan of increasing taxes on Canadians. Thank you.